A new package from WizKids just showed up on our doorstep and it is not in the normal cardboard box that they normally send things in. So I'm really curious about what's inside. So we're gonna make this quick today because this isn't a big box, so it might not take so long. So let me just tell you up front that all these videos are made possible by Hit Point Press. So you can always help us stay on the air by using our links in the doohickey down below to pick yourself up some animated cards or some big bad booklets or even some games like Humblewood and Cena Una. All those links are right down there. So. Let's get to unboxing. All right, let's go ahead and see what this box has in store for us. Okay, it is littler boxes inside, I was wondering. It looks like we're starting off with some Frameworks minis. This is our second wave, I believe, of Frameworks. Oh. They're saving their coolest minis for this framework set, I swear. Look at this halfling rogue, steampunk cowboy with a eye patch and a map. Um, oh, I love this. This might have to be put together for my new adventure, Love and Hate in the Mana Waste that we're doing a live stream of. Uh, one change that they're making for the frameworks in the second wave is that they are giving you enough parts to make more than one mini per set. So this one here will include two miniatures. Uh, or enough parts to make two miniatures, and you can put them together as you like. Presumably, it will be the same character, uh, just in a few different ways. So if you want to have, you know, your PC and have a couple of different options for what they're holding in their hand or what their face looks like. It looks like in this set, you can give them a cowboy hat or not, or an eye patch or not. And they have, uh, you know, a bow and a backpack and uh, all sorts of adventuring gear that they can hold if you want them to. So it allows you to make two minis. Very cool. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we have our first, I believe, Pathfinder Battles Legendary Cuts, which is going to be very similar to the Frameworks minis. Uh, and this one, this one's interesting because you can still make two minis and is labeled as Female Elf Rogue, but that is Mauricio. If you know Pathfinder, you know that they have iconic characters to represent each of the various classes. And this is their iconic rogue. Uh, and yeah, so you can make two different Mauricios. Um, I'm kind of looking at the various things that she can hold in various parts. Uh, very cool. So I'm, yeah, and oh, they're also rated on the back for their difficulty level on putting them together. And these are both called uh, intermediate. So we'll see if any of these uh, have a different rating than that, or if they're all just intermediate. And there's also a few QR codes on here. So I'm gonna go explore those websites. If there's anything interesting on there, I will share them with you on the screen. Uh, very cool. Contains enough optional components to custom build two Elf Rogue miniatures. It's interesting that they don't include Mauricio's name anywhere on the box. I don't know why that is. Next up, we have another Frameworks. A Goliath Barbarian. That's a cool one, too, with a Warhammer. Uh, various hammers, great axes, all sorts of stuff you can put on. This one's Stag Antlers. Oh, this one's considered a beginner level one, which is very interesting. And I think it tells you the number of sprues inside as well. This one contains one sprue and this one here contains two. And I'll show you that on the screen right here where you can see where that's indicated. Cool, that's a good one as well. Oh God, it's just a matter of having the time to put them all together and then paint them all up. Let's see what else we got. Another framework, a Medusa. That's a cool looking Medusa figure. Oh, that's a big old foot and giant hand. I'm curious how these go together and what it's supposed to look like. I'm gonna see if I can find some pictures of the various... Oh, so that's one thing. You can see one example on the front of what it might look like. And then on the side as well, they have a alternate build. So on the side, you can see the hooded figure holding a staff or a bow perhaps. I guess it's a staff. And on the front, you can see her holding a dagger and having her snake hair out. So that's awesome. You can see some of the various options that you might have. Uh, here's the other, another uh, Pathfinder Battles one. Male human wizard. This is Ezrin, the iconic human wizard. And got some spell effects, spell book, staff, depending on how you want to put them together. And this was also considered beginner and on two sprues. Oh, I do like Ezrin. He's one of my favorite iconics. Let's see what else we got. These are cool looking. Uh, an elf, half elf ranger, frameworks miniature with an ax and a sword. Ooh, perhaps with an eagle pet, if I'm seeing this correctly, or you can have a wolf pelt around your neck. Is that an eagle on the side? It's so small, it's hard to tell. I'll see if I can find any pictures to share with you of these. 
but that is another very cool one. These are so much cooler than the normal minis, I feel like. Let me know what you think. All right, oh, here have a monster over here. Put this on the other side of Rory. Here's a troll. Looks like a pretty common troll, but a very cool one. I think part of it is just that the paint jobs on these example figures on the front are so cool. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, I'm trying to see how can you alter up what a troll looks like. You've got a few various things that I guess you can put on the base. It's a little hard to tell from this, the various weapons it can hold different hand positions, flaming sword or torch. Interesting, yeah, I'm not really sure. I need to find some pictures or we just need to put some of these together and see what we can do. And here's a gargoyle. Cool looking gargoyle. Different poses you can do for the gargoyle. Beginner level, four sprues, because I guess this is a larger creature. Oh, and we didn't pay attention to the number of these. You have enough for one troll miniature, but two gargoyles, which is good. And I assume all these other ones give you two figures as well. So yeah, two gargoyles. And you can kind of mix and match them as you like. Oh, one's got like a crow head or something? I don't even know, that's a, like a bird skull head, perhaps? Interesting, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Oh, we have a big one. Frameworks Fire Giant. It was a female fire giant with braids and a hellhound. The paint jobs on these are just so cool. I wish we could get paint jobs like this on our regular miniatures. But yeah, uh, we've seen a few people when the first framework set came out last year, paint some of these up in our Discord channel. And uh, if you decide to pick these up and paint them, I would love to see what you're able to do with them. Uh, this is again, it's just one miniature. Intermediate with three sprues, but it looks like some cool options in there. I love the Hellhound edition. Really, really nice if you're playing Storm King's Thunder. You might just have to gender swap who the boss in that one is. Another large one here. We have a Vrock. It's an interesting choice. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a Vrock just standing up on the ground like that, but that's kind of interesting. Uh, again, various things it can have. Are there minions as well? Enough for three miniatures. Contains enough to custom build one Brock miniatures plus two dretches. Ah, they don't even include the dretches on the side. Interesting, or on the front. So that's a different sort of thing as well. I was wondering what that was. Cool, for your demon adventures. Next up, digging in here. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Pathfinder Battles, legendary cuts. 18 customizable goblin minis inside. 18 got look at the goblins do oh you got a pirate goblin with a hook you've got a spell casting one holding a snake got one with his head on fire oh my god one's holding a mushroom i i'm very excited to see what your options are here enough for 18 figures and there it's an intermediate one which i'm curious if this is intermediate what does advanced look like because these are some very small parts i think it, it looks like each individual goblin is going to have quite a few places where you can attach options oh i really want to put this together this is going to take so much time though uh what else is in here oh we got one more left oh this is different gilmore's fantastic fabrications critical role so critical role is getting their own set of frameworks figures um, this is a Cyclops Stormcaller, and I don't remember necessarily a storm uh, a Cyclops Stormcaller in any of the uh, episodes that I've seen of Critical Role, but it might have been from way back in Campaign 1, I'm just not remembering. But I think this is included in their um, Taldori campaign setting revisited. I think I remember seeing this art in there uh, of this, not of this figure exactly, but of this character, I think in a different pose. But that is a cool Cyclops. Oh, you can get like frosty hands with it. Some cool options. Awesome. All right, so these are really cool looking minis and I'm sure this isn't all the ones they're releasing. They're not gonna release just one critical role and they're not gonna release just three Pathfinder ones. So there's probably others that we don't have. We can request more to show you, but, and, and putting them together, my June is not quite as busy as my May was. So I may have time to put a couple of these together, but they do take me a lot of time. So let me know which one of these you are most interested interested in seeing put together and I'm gonna see what I can do. I probably can't do too many of them, but I'd love to do a couple if I can. And those goblins are super enticing. I really wanna do those, but I don't know if I have the dexterity to put together 18 small minis. 
but I think I'm gonna have to give it a try. But let me know what you wanna see in the comments down below, and we'll see if we can get our hands on some more of them. We will link, if there's a list of them down below, we'll throw that in the uh, doohickey down below me too. And again, if you ever wanna get some great gaming gear while you're helping us make more content, you can use our links down below to pick up some cool stuff from Hitpoint Press. You can get some kobolds like Rory here to keep you company on your journeys by visiting heroplus.com. And you can sign up for our upcoming Kickstarter for kobold dice and accessories using our links down below. And be sure you do that so you don't miss out on our early bird discounts. And if you want to follow us on social media, you can check all of those sites out over here this time. So for now, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I will see you next time at the Gallant Goblin.